It's a disaster. It is a disaster. Having a bit of a nightmare. However. Is good. Oh no, I don't like the word however. <laughs> for me not to be able to get the window in. What did they say? Uh, he, they said they've never had this problem before. To cover it's such it. a shame, but I do understand. We'll just... But yeah, it's not good. And we'll just let's let's wait and see. We'll and see then what we'll... he says. He, he says, "Give him a couple of days, and he'll get back to me and, and see whether he can come up with a solution." All right. So. Okay. Good morning. I've got really, really good vibes about what's happening here at Star Corner this week. Mark's hoping to install another window. Jamie, the electrician, is coming back on site. I've got various garden jobs to do. And Mark's also starting work on preparing our old radiators ready for the plumber to return. It's all happening. That's good, your back's obviously feeling better. Uh, it is better. Good. But so, I have, what are you up to today? Um, I'm going to fit this window. Brilliant. However, That's good. Oh no, I don't like the word however. <laughs> my fantastic block work is a little bit out. So, only by about five mil, but it's enough right. for me not to be able to get the window in. So, I'm just going to put this board up here just to stop the dust from coming in from where I've got to cut the, um, the breeze blocks. So, you've actually got to cut the bricks? On the outside skin, yeah but you're hopeful that we'll have a window by the end of today. By the end of today, we will have a window, for Brilliant. sure. Okay, well, while you do that, I'm going to go into the garden and do some stripping. Okay, see you later. Really love having you on um, holiday. What are you making now? Um, Andrew pear cake. Andrew pear cake. We've never had that before. Nope. So you've just you've just used Dad's pears. Who oh, no. Oh no. When will it be ready? In fifty minutes. Oh, I can't wait. I'll have a cup of tea and a slice of pear cake. Thank you. Yep. What's that, Mum? It's my new plate that I bought at the antique market last week. All ready for my pear cake. Do you like it? Yeah. It's Wedgwood.
Mom? Okay. For the pockets that are put in. For the silks that are in the room, that's it. Okay, I really do need to get on, so I'll see you later. getting on yeah windows in i can see that just uh when we get when will the glass go in uh, i'll do that i've done this but i just need to get the expanding foam in between the gaps to fill it all in make it airtight oh, brilliant it looks crap. good doesn't it it does look pretty good so good you pleased with it i am looks wonky huh no it doesn't <laughs> cheeky bugger <laughs> Oh. At least the blue tits won't be able to get to it and take it all out like they do upstairs. Sorry? When the um when the cladding's on, at least the blue tits won't be able to get to it. No, they won't. Yeah, because they're probably lying in bed at the moment. They come and they take <laughs> take it all, don't they? They do. They just well, we've got holes upstairs in the windows, haven't we? Builders bum alert. Really? Yeah. Is it a good Thank one? You. Yeah, nobody wants to see it. <laughs> That's it. All done? Pretty much. So then that needs to set and then you put the glass in? Well, I, don't need, I can put the glass in now anyway, so... Okay, well lunch is ready. Okay. Before you run off, yeah. I'm going to ask you on camera. You know the boiler in the garden yeah. that's just sitting in the middle of the garden? Yeah. Can we move that this afternoon? I'm really fed up with the mess in the garden and Rowan is as well. It's so true. trying to have a massive tidy up. Can we try and move it? We can try and move it, yeah. Brilliant. <gasps> oh, you put it on my plate. Is it all for me? No. That looks good. Is it ready to have a slice? Yep. Dish it up. <laughs> what are you doing outside in your dressing gown? Just looking at our doors. Why? Having a bit of a nightmare. The, um, the wood splitting. Um, even though we've painted it, so I'm not really sure why. Because oh God, it's, that's um, a disaster. It is a disaster. Because what, that's, what's... Cause actually the, these ones here that have been painted with the, um, you know, petrochemical based paints are not splitting. I don't know why. Look, uh, see that mark there? That's a crack in the wood. Oh no. <clears throat> that's terrible. What have we got to do? Call the manufacturer and... Um... Well, I'll speak to the paint manufacturer and then we'll speak to the people who made the, the windows. But yeah, it's not good. What did they say? Uh, he, they said they've never had this problem before, so he's going to look into it and get back to us. He's going to speak to a few people who use it regularly, and uh, he's going to speak to the manufacturers as well, just to see. Linseed oil paint has just got such a good reputation. Yeah, it people... has, and he said he's never seen it happen before. But the wood's <laughs> behaving like it's not, that it hasn't been protected. Right. So, so we've just got to wait. We've just got to wait and see what he says, and... Um, I have to be honest, I think I'm actually going to just use the use the Santex, just use, use the, the, the plastic based stuff because at least I know it's going to That'd cover it. It's such a shame, but I do understand. Well, just let's, let's wait and see. We'll and see then what we'll... he says. He, he says, give him a couple of days and he'll get back to me and, and see whether he can come up with a solution. All right. So. Okay. 
Well, it may not be solving the problem of the cracked paint, but it's so good to see Jamie, the electrician, back on site. He's really getting near to the end of what needs doing now. I can't even begin to explain to you how nice it is to actually have somebody here on site doing some work rather than doing it ourselves. Another morning dash to the shower. It's a horrible day today. But come rain or shine, sun or snow, we have to do this dash to the shower. Not long now though, hopefully, until things improve. That wasn't too bad this morning at all. Now it's time to take the dash of shame back into the house. Before you dash off to work, what's the update on the paint? The um, company have ordered a sample from our window manufacturers. Right. And they are going to do some sample tests. So it's going to be a little while, I suppose. He's going to paint it, leave it outside and see what the resulting thing is. So we've just got to wait and see? Yeah. Oh, it's just it's raining today. I hope it's going to be okay. Yes, yeah, so do I. It's a bit of a worry. So it's just a waiting game. Yeah. That's it. That's okay. All, that's all there is. Well, if you hear anything else, let me know. I will. All dressed. I'm just about to drop the girls at the bus stop because they're going to Norwich for the day. And then I am heading to the herb farm to buy the rest of the plants for the rosemary hedge. just come back from Norfolk Herbs and I really should get on with some work now but with constant rain forecasts I'm looking up and the sun's shining so I think I'm going to get my herbs in the ground straight away and you may wonder why I am wielding a chapati rolling pin this is the perfect distance that I want my rosemary hedge so it saves me getting the tape measure out right I'm gonna crack on before it starts raining
So that's it, all my new herbs planted, except the rosemary for this side of the bed, which I'm still working on. Hopefully that will go in at the weekend, weather dependent. So now I've got a pink rosemary hedge all around the edge, and I put pink chives all the way up there and along there, and a few other plants as well, a few other herbs. I've put a few more culinary herbs in and medicinal plants. It's all coming together. I'm so excited. It looks so good.